In this video, I'm going to show you how I tried just about everything I could think of to remove Goodwill Sharpie pricing from resin statues, from felt, and from wood. In my last video, we found out that dry erase marker doesn't remove Sharpie from resin. So I have some various cleaning products here and we're going to experiment and try to see which ones work and which ones don't. When you're trying to remove Sharpie from an item, it's very important to do your best not to take the surface off the finish or the color of the item. So you want to start with the least abrasive cleaner you can and work your way to more abrasive cleaners if the less don't work. So just to prove that this is Sharpie and not washable ink, we're just going to try water to start with. I'm going to take a paper towel. As you can see, the water doesn't do anything. The next thing I'm going to try is sunscreen. It's a cream based sunscreen. We'll just put a little bit onto the paper towel. Gently rub it on the Sharpie. Let's see if anything happens. You're seeing that a little bit of the color is coming off, but it's not really doing the job. The next thing we're going to try is good old Windex. And just squirt just a little on the paper. Again, it is removing some of the marker. But not doing a great job. Let's try some Pledge Furniture Polish. Spray a little bit onto the paper towel. Wipe it over. Once more, there's a little bit of color coming off, but still not very efficient. And let's bring out the big guns. This is Goo Gone. This is a goo and adhesive remover. It's really good for removing stickiness, gum. Um, it says tree sap, glue, even candle wax. Spray a little bit on the paper. Again, a little bit coming off and it's fading. <laughs> but as you can see, this Sharpie's pretty set into the acrylic here. Let's try some hand sanitizer. I'm sure many of you have this in your houses at the moment. This is an alcohol based uh, premium hand sanitizer. We'll put a little bit on the tissue paper towel. Let's see what this does. Ooh, we're getting some better results with this. Look. really coming off a little bit better. Okay, 
Okay, just to, for demonstration purposes, let's try straight 70% alcohol. I'm going to use two pieces for this. I'm going to soak the paper towel and let's try a different area. I'm going to unfold it and use the other side so I don't redistribute the marker. Let's try one more removal item. This is nail polish remover. I'm going to use two pieces again. I'll try a new Sharpie mark. This seems to be working just as well, if not better, than the alcohol. Again, I think that will come off. Just needs a good soaking and some elbow grease. It's really quite well set in there. Let's put this aside for a minute and we'll move to these dolphins which also had a couple of sharpie marks on the bottom. And let's see if we can get this off with some alcohol. It's coming off. I think it's just going to need a good rub, maybe to soak in for a while. What I might do is squirt some hand sanitizer on there and let it sit for five or ten minutes just so the alcohol can break down the Sharpie. Now let's take a look at our giraffe here. This giraffe not only had the Goodwill sticker, which we can peel off the felt on the bottom here, but it also had these Sharpie marks. What I'm going to do with these is use some alcohol. I'm going to work from the outside of the Sharpie mark to the inside just so it doesn't bleed and we'll see what happens see it's coming off here I want to just sort of blot it carefully we'll take a clean piece and blot the sharpie Soak it again. As you can see, every time I blot it, it's pulling up the Sharpie. You could probably even pour a little alcohol directly on here. And just blot it. It's doing quite a good job. As you can see, it's not an easy process. We have to 
to keep continuing to put the alcohol on and pulling up the Sharpie mark. I'll continue to do that off camera and then show you the finished result at the end. We have one more item here. This is a really nice vintage wooden salad bowl that I found at Goodwill. I paid $7 for it. It's a seven orange, but again, they put some Sharpie mark on there. And uh, we'll just try to get that off with a little bit of alcohol on the wood. Just wipe it. As you can see, that's coming off really quite easily off the wood there. And just blot it with the towel. This is a really nice bowl, except it needs some TLC and restoration. The surface has really suffered and the finish has come off. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to restore this bowl into the beautiful piece it once was. So I've been working on rubbing the Sharpie with alcohol and uh, put a good deal of elbow grease into it and it's still not all the way off as you can tell. So I had a couple more ideas of what to try. I've got some uh, good quality hairspray and some WD-40. Let's give the hairspray a try first. Spray it onto the paper. Give it a good rub. No, that's not doing anything. Let's try the WD. Nope, that's not working either. Not doing anything. Now I've got some automotive sandpaper. Just cut off a little bit of a strip there. Let's give it a rub and see what happens. That's really not doing anything either. One last thing I'm going to try, SOS steel wool pads. Got a little bowl of water and a steel wood pad, wool pad. We'll dip it in the water, get it a bit wet. Let's see what happens. Well, it's definitely soaping up. It actually looks like it's taking some of the surface off. As you can tell it's it's pulling the surface off and it does look like it's taking the sharpie too. Let's give it a good rub. I 
which I think that's the best result yet. You can see that it's pulled a lot of the finish off the resin there and it's pulling the Sharpie with it. I think with a bit more elbow grease that'll actually come all the way off. See, it's almost all the way gone. Let's give this one a try up here. Turn the steel wool so we have a fresh part. Wet it. Give it a scrub. And you can see as I'm scrubbing, the finish of the resin is coming off, but we can't really avoid that if we want to remove the Sharpie. We've exhausted all other methods. If you're enjoying the video and you're finding it helpful, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, write me a comment, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And I think that's going to be as about as good as it gets. Let's wipe this off a little bit. Ta-da! I wonder if the steel wool will also take off the Sharpie from the dolphins. The alcohol really wasn't doing a very good job. Let's give it a scrub. Again, it's taking quite a lot of effort and pressure and scrubbing. Let's see how we're doing here. And again, it is taking everything, including the finish of the resin off, but you can still see the Sharpie. Let's give it another go. I'm trying to stay within the grain of the resin because that's where the Sharpie's got caught in the grain and the little crevices. Well, it's doing a good job. Most successful thing we've used is turning out to be this SOS. Uh, I think it has soap. Uh, steel wool steel wool soap pad. It's got soap built into it. So you just need to use a little bit of water and a lot of elbow grease. And that mark is almost gone. Let's flip it over and try the other one. Not too bad. So I'm going to continue to dab on alcohol to try to lift up the Sharpie. Just dab, turn and dab paper towel. And as you can see, it's lifting up the Sharpie from the felt.
So I'm continuing to pour and dab and lifting the Sharpie off of the felt with the paper towel. As you can tell, it was quite a long process. And towards the end, I started just to pour the alcohol onto the felt and then manipulate it a bit with my fingers just to try to loosen the Sharpie from the fibers of the felt. Well, I've gone over the Sharpie with alcohol several times and blotted it up with the tissue and the towel. And as you can see, there's still a faint mark where it was. I could keep going, um, but at this point, I'm thinking it might be easier just to remove the felt like this, now that it's wet with the alcohol. and replace it with a brand new piece of felt. As you can see, now that it's soaked with the alcohol, the glue underneath is softened. We need a little bit more over here, but it's peeling up quite easily. And I can just go to a craft store and get a replacement piece of felt to cut out. And stick on the bottom. I can actually use this old piece of felt as a template to cut around. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any tips or tricks that I didn't think of for removing Sharpie, please drop a comment below. And stay tuned next Tuesday where I'll show you how to restore the wooden bowl. See you next time. Bye.